This video is an overview of removal and installation of convertible top outer shell on a Volkswagen New Beetle convertible 2003 to 2010. Remember to work safe and work smart. Work in a well ventilated area, protect yourself from injury at all times, and attempt all work at your own risk. Before beginning, consult your owner's manual or the appropriate repair manual for your vehicle. Removing and installing the convertible top outer shell will take you about two hours, but it's definitely something you can do in your dealership. If you follow the procedures, the top will come off and go back on very nicely. Now the procedures that we're going to go over today will not only show you how to remove and install a convertible top, but pretty much put you in a good position for removing the roof frame. Let's go Let's do go. it. Now the first thing that we've done is we've taped off the perimeter around the roof area. This is to protect the chrome strip and the paint. We've also, we're going to leave the battery connected because we're going to need to operate the roof during these procedures. Right. I see you've taken a lot of stuff out of the inside too. Yeah, we've got all the uh, side panels and the seats out. We've opened the roof halfway. We've also disconnected, uh, I should say, removed the servo motors out of the side panels and connected them back up to the harness. Those are the ones for the flaps because we'll need them to operate the roof. All right. Now we're going to begin by pulling down the leading edge trim. Clips go flying. Now we have to turn the handle 90 degrees in order to pull the panel off the roof. All right, I'll show you the pieces here. Great. And I'll start taking out the side seals. We've removed the two bolts that secure the front corners of the roof and the front beading. Now we're pulling out the side beading that attaches the roof. And remove the small cable from the corner of the channel. Now there are two rivets that need to be drilled out on each side of the roof. And I want to be extremely careful not to damage the headliner while I do this. So I'm going to carefully clamp back the headliner out of the way using these rubber tip clamps. And then use my drill to drill out the first rivet. This is the easy one. Okay, we've removed the window seal from the C-pillar and also pulled the roof beading out of the C-pillar channel. Now this can be a little difficult, especially in the area of the metal clips. One suggestion would be to pull as much slack of the roof fabric over as you can. The next thing we're going to do is close the roof and remove the staples to release the zipper that holds the roof fabric to the inner padding. The convertible top outer shell is fastened to the inner liner using three zippers. There are alignment marks both on the outer shell and on the inner lining to help realign the cover when you go to reassemble. At the outer edges, the zipper is fastened with staples on both sides. And there are also alignment marks to help aid in reassembly. You need to be careful when you cut the staples that you don't cut through the zipper. Mike, when was the last time you had this much fun in the back seat of a convertible? It's been some time. <laughs> but to get this outer shell off, there are a few things that we need to do on the inside to be able to get to the bolts that hold the shell to the body, right? That's right. The first step would be to remove these water guides that are on both sides of the vehicle. We do that by reaching behind it and pulling it up off the water deflector. You've got to be careful of these metal clips that hold it down. Make sure you don't gouge yourself. All right, what's next? Next would be the bottom of the headliner. Okay. Pull the beading on the lower edge of the headliner out of its groove. Using a bone, 
pull the beading for around the rear window out of its groove. Carefully disconnect the ribbon from the connector for the rear window defroster and drill out the rivet that holds in the retaining clip. Be very careful you don't drill through the outside of the top fabric. Remove the securing clip from the ball socket and separate the hinge. Do that on both sides and the last thing we need to do inside the car is to remove all the securing bolts that fasten the top outer fabric to the body. All right, Mike, since you were tired of crouching in the car, I removed the retaining bracket. What's next? Well, we pull the retaining frame away from the body and lift it up, being very careful not to scratch the paintwork or the chrome. And then we secure it away from the body using brackets VAG 1887. Once it's secure, release the center and rear zip fasteners. Remove this screw for the convertible top tensioning cable. It's the upper of the two screws. Now we're ready to slide the convertible top outer shell out of the retaining frame. And that's it. Now let's look at some tips on reinstallation. All right. One thing to check during reassembly is the rubber sealing cord that's in the roof retainer. You want to check it to make sure that it's not dried out or cracked. If it is, you'll need to replace it. If you're replacing the convertible top outer shell, you'll need to remove the tensioning cable and thread it into the new cover. With a second technician, slide the roof cover into the retaining frame. If it doesn't slide easily, spray a little silicone spray onto the track. When reattaching the zippers, the first step is to align the marks on the outer shell and the inner liner. Then start the zipper tool in the center of the zipper. Push it back and forth and you can feel a click when you've engaged the zipper properly. Zip it all the way to one end. Come around to the other side. Again, Engage the zipper pliers. There you go. Push them towards the already fastened zipper area and then pull them off the other side. Then use the staplers to fasten the end of the zipper. Make sure that you get a good bite on an area of the, of the zipper where the fabric isn't damaged from the previous staples. Now our experience has shown us that there are two areas that you have to pay special attention to when you're reassembling the roof. Right. Both of them deal with the C-pillar. The first deals with putting the outer shell back onto the frame. Right. right. It's a little bit critical where you insert the C-pillar beading. The critical part is up here at the top. You need to have the beading level with the top of the C-pillar rail. Our suggestion on that is to get it started and then pull it down until it's just even. Once you've got it even, then press it into place. Now if we don't do this, it's a likelihood that we'll have bunching up on the roof when we close if it's too loose or it's just going to pull too tight, correct? Right, right. Now the other area that we need to look at is actually the weather strip that goes into the roof frame at the C-pillar. Right. Yeah, the window seal is a little difficult because it's got two areas that it has to engage in the rail, one on the inside and one on the outside. Our suggestion on this part part is to probably spray it with a little bit of silicone lube and then when you go to install it use a bone and press it into the window slot and engage that first then engage the outside. Okay now there's one more adjustment that we need to take a look at. One of the adjustments you may be asked to make at your dealership is to the roof latch assembly. That's because the latch on the right hand side activates a micro switch in the windshield header frame. Now if this micro switch isn't activated, the roof control module will think that the roof is always open. 
You can check the micro switch by sticking your finger into the latch hole on the right side and checking to see if the micro switch is free. If it's working properly, then the thing to do is pop down the trim panel that we have off here and check the two rods that operate the latch. Make sure that they're both straight. If they're straight and the right hand latch isn't going far enough in to trip the micro switch, you can lengthen it. First remove the clip and then pop the socket off of the ball. Use two wrenches to loosen up the, the ball and lengthen the rod. Once you've checked to make sure that it's now operating the micro switch properly, tighten everything up, reinstall the clip, reinstall the trim panel, and you should be all set. Pretty easy adjustment. I think so. We've covered a lot of ground today. We took the front window assembly out of this car, put it back in and made some adjustments. Right. We took the rear window assembly out of the car, put it back in and made some adjustments. We took the roof shell off this car, put it back on and gave you some great tips about the reassembly. We hope this video has been helpful to you. And remember, always check the service information for the latest updates. Thanks for watching. Feedback or questions, visit our online tech forums or our online technical library at bentleypublishers.com.